All right. I'm going to record a little bit here while I'm doing stuff. What I'm thinking about is hope. I have kind of a view about hope that um, nobody I've talked to about hope really thinks much of it. They find it kind of cynical, I guess. But I, I really think, I mean, it starts off with an idea that hope is really just for the weak. That hope is not a good thing at all. To have hope is like having a plan that you don't ever really plan to work on. You just set that aside. Hope is like a place for your desires to go on living, it's occurred to me, when they don't have reason to attach to anything in the real world. And I kind of feel like, well, we have desires. Desires are like parts of our soul or mind that want to desire, that know how to want something, know how to get the rest of the mind maybe working on a plan. They want to be attached to something in the real world and they can change what they desire. If you desire a person, they can desire a different person. If you desire a knowledge, they can desire that knowledge or different knowledge. And so to me, it's best to move on from hope and not hope. And that means hoping that somebody that's left you will leave or hoping you're going to get that job. Or I, I know people want they tell me that no hope isn't for the weak it's for the strong and you know to go ahead and hope but um you know the idea of the hope is it's supposed to make you feel better but if you are in a bad mood it's the other way around all your hopes feel like burdens and they're crashing in on you with pyrrhonistic skepticism the idea is that you want to accept things as they are and that's how you get tranquility in your heart and a calm and, and good healthy attitude so I would just like to um, accept things the way they are and then you know if what might be a hope comes true then great it's a positive if it doesn't then it's at least it's nil it's not a negative and really I find this also you know people respond more positively to you if you're accepting what is then if you are trying to always manipulate and make a certain situation come around so I don't know I do believe in fighting for what you want but that's sort of before you have to resort to hope right that's when there's still something you can do so I'm curious if anybody else has a view on hope or why we might need hope uh, if we need hope um, why hopes can somehow be positive. Uh, people say that oh, if you hope for something then you can move on and do something else, but I feel not that way. If I hope on that something might happen, then I want to work on it. I don't want to just let it hope. If I just have to sit and wait around and let the hope wait around, I'm not into that. I, I don't want to hope. I, I don't hope. So, what do you think? Is that terribly uh, cynical? Is that bearable idea um, do you think there's maybe schools of philosophy I think the brain is like a magical computer that can run all different kinds of operating systems and some of those you know and those operating systems are are philosophies or worldviews you could call them and some of those don't rely on the concept of hope just like some don't rely on the concept of good and evil and I have one that doesn't rely on hope or good and evil okay